Greetings everyone and welcome back to Expedition Viking, or rather Expeditions Viking. We're in the last episode. We pretty much completed everything we needed to do in the marsh. Now, we're going to be heading out to Rebay now. It is unfortunate that uh, the the quest with the, the farmers and their ill son ended as it did. But again, I wasn't going to to uh, risk the lives of of my own people a second time. They had their one chance. Now, if we head straight to Rebay, we should be able to make it in just one straight trip. So let's go ahead and do that. Homestead Palisades complete. Fantastic. Uh, right. I would like to bring... Um, yeah, I'm going to... Actually, Edis can go this time. There we go. Let's all head in. We've got a fair bit of discussions to do. Now, I, I did receive a couple of comments, especially regarding where I should take that talisman. And the one place that was suggested the most was the docks. Apparently, they're somewhere out the docks, and I, I just must have missed that. Uh, or, or I probably read it and then just probably forgot uh, a, a dialogue option with the trader. So we're going to need to poke around and see if there's anyone down there who happens to know anything about that. Also, we are going to be making some money. Uh, or rather, we're going to be trading in a, some... Uh, let's see. We're going to be... First, dropping off at the healers. There we go. Let's get in there as quickly as we can. We've also got the rat quest here that we probably need to deal with, but uh, no. All right. Svana, hello. The Gidjar is cleaning around Odin's shrine when you walk into the temple. Hello again. How can I help you this time? I've brought you moldy bark from the troll tree. What? Oh yes, the sick friend. Let me see. You hand her the bark and she unwraps it from the cloth and examines it closely. Very good, this will do nicely. Give me a few hours and I will have a remedy for your friend's affliction. Oh, it's that simple. Two hours pass. The Gidya returns to the temple holding a small wooden dish with a powder. She presents it to you. Take care of this. The mold on the troll tree regrows slowly. Simply have your friend ingest a small measure of the powder every morning and every night, and she should be well within a week. <laughs> Thank you, Gidya. Gidya's mind already seems to have wandered off. Mm -hmm. Very well. No, that's that's brilliant. That's all we needed. Okay. All right. Next up, let's go ahead and see if we can't find someone down by the docks who we can talk to. Then someone to talk to about. A certain medallion. Uh, let's see. Foreign trader, ideally. Uh, any traders around here? Hopefully it's none of the raiders that we have already slain. That would be at all these ships. Mm -hmm. All trade for miles around goes through this harbour. Yeah, but also they look really cool. <laughs> They're quite like beautiful, yes. I must admit... I'm starting to look forward to our journey. Oh, good. I'm very glad what? about that, actually. Some foul spirit of the underworld has taken possession of S-Life. Quick, throw it life The R is not pronounced. Forget I said anything. Oh, poor S-Life. There, there. Uh, let's have a chat with you. It's uh, Northwind, the Lashes Men. What was it? Something or other. I uh, didn't quite catch, unfortunately. Any traits here to talk to? Any traders? No traders. That is my ship. Oh, it was my ship. Uh, it was meant to have been like chopped up, but alas, no. Right, maybe you. Uh, Thogir Ubinson. A gruff looking man with expensive equipment stands at the docks in front of a mighty warship, idly watching the passers by. Ho oh, there. Need to hire a ship? Uh, I, bet, I bet you've traveled far. Hmm. He smiles, satisfied. For sure. My crew and I have been as far up to the northern coast as we have been down to the southern shores. You won't find a more experienced crew anyway. Uh, have you seen patterns like the, on this medallion? He holds up the medallion and turns it in the light. I have. In fact, I was recently paid with something very much like this. 
captain retrieves a uh, sort of diadem from a sack at his feet. He hands it to you, hanging on to the medallion as collateral. Ah, uh, makes sense. The diadem bears striking resemblance to the medallion you found on the hired killers. Same materials, same patterns, there's no doubt. Who paid you with this? And what for? His eyes grow narrow. Well, now. I'm not altogether sure I want to say. Would ten or tongue of silver loosen your tongue? Hmm. Make it twenty. Uh. Hmm. I'll use my diplomacy. Too steep. You've given me enough to go on. The dock workers will be able to tell me what I need to know. Wait, wait, wait. All right, ten or tongue of silver. That's fair enough. Here you go. I was paid by a woman called Horod uh, Girda to transport a group of slightly shifty looking people to Rebay. There were five of them, three men and two women. I gathered that one of the women was the sister of one of the men. When we took the job, she paid us with this diadem. I didn't ask any questions. Cross his arms. Now, it's been a pleasure doing business with you, but if you're not looking to hire my crew, I have other things to attend to. Ah, uh, school's killer. Okay. Those rumors were blatantly exaggerated. Yet, here we are, having survived an ambush by killers she hired. Yes, that does appear to be the case. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about it at this point. No, but let's keep it in mind in case we run into her again. Ooh, very interesting. Assassins finished. Very nice. Okay, so we've got all of that. Monsters in the Marsh, we need to return to the Yarl. Kill the rats. Hell hath no fury. Tell Brana of Ranga's fate. Oh yeah, that's right. Frey one. Tomb Raider. Travel east of the small hamlet to search for ancient grave. A motley herd. Um, okay, well, we've got a bunch of things we need to do. We uh, we seem to have it more or less in one straight um, circuit around Rebe, though. Which is quite convenient for us. Where are you? You were around here. No, just past the blacksmith. That's right. It's down here somewhere. Uh, what is it? Ah, there we are. Brana Karasdottir. There we are. Now, let's make our way down there. And then the Jarl's house is not very far away either. There we go. Did you find the treacherous prick? Wow. Face down in the swamp, it was bloody. Uh, hmm. I will go with this. That is... That's not strictly how we found him. That's how we left him. Good. No one will mourn him. What are the possessions he stole? Everything I own. We have them right here. Really? Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. With this, I'll be able to rebuild. Reach out to some old merchant friends. I've had enough of rebates for a lifetime, though. Um, she's a merchant, then. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Skirn could use a good merchant. Skirn, you say? A day or so north? That would do nicely. Sure, let me gather what I need, and I will meet you there. Ho-ho! Branna has joined your homestead. Travel back to your homestead to visit her stall. Oh, that's fantastic. I've actually got a merchant there. And my clan's prosperity has increased. Well, now that was pretty cool. I'll be honest. Wasn't expecting that at all. Okay. Uh, on that note, we do have some things we need to do. So, a pier. Expand the pier to support larger warships. Plus four power. Uh, roads. Prevent soggy feet from walking through the mud. Plus four prosperity. What's my prosperity at the moment? We've got 17 of 100 prosperity and 16 power. I'd rather my power be ahead of my prosperity, generally speaking. Oh, uh, this will consume 100 wood there. 100 wood, 100 wood, pretty much everything is 100 wood. 25 wood and 500 valuables. That's only plus 2 prosperity, though. Uh, this is 75 wood, 1,500. My goodness. Well, that's just straight up 100 wood. That, that's the best one by far. Plus 2 power and plus 3 salvage tri weekly. Craft weapons of a higher quality. Or oh, um, three hides tri weekly. Either one will give me power. Herbal glade or sacrificial bog. Four rations weekly, four herbs weekly. We 
the one really works to prosperity and a new trader a place where traders can raise a store to sell their wares or plus 50 valuables weekly that one i'm favoring the weekly valuables is nice we could continue to rise it up to 100 valuables weekly that would actually be pretty good uh six power eight power that only costs 100 wood too and it goes down quite quickly uh, or prosperity. I think for now, though, I would like to get my Palisades up to rank 2. It's going to take two weeks. One week, five days. Uh, I'll bring this to one week. Well, actually, that's really expensive. All of them take a long while. Two weeks there. Uh, two prosperity, two power. That only takes one week. I fancy getting the valuables um, coming into us. Would be nice. So, yes, we're going to go with this one. And I'm not going to use a thrall. Not this time. We'd only drop it down by two days or a total of four days. In yeah, I... I think we're going to just let that one be done. There we go. That will do there. Okay, right. Next, let's go and find the Yarl. Uh, actually, that one. Oh, we're one behind. I was expecting it here, and then I found... Oh, no, I'm lost. That was one, one uh, house off. Right, let's speak with the Yarl. Raghilda and the White. She politely stands when you approach her seat and clasps your wrist with a firm grip. Welcome into Ribe, Avak. To what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? The marsh is safe. No one else will be lost. Truly? What did you discover? Uh, let's see. Mm, there were three brothers malformed, but only men. They are dead now. Ah! Uh, no, I, I'm going to, to go... Rosca called them giants, as did Gunnar. So they were giants. Foul giants from Utgard. We slew them, though the battle was worthy of song. She raises an eyebrow and seems to search your face for a moment. I'm sure it was. <laughs> ah, I missed what it said. Your superstitious followers have gained morale. Your skeptical followers have lost morale. In any case, you've done Ribe a great service. Thank you, son of Bjorn. As promised, your reward. If you need my counsel, my door is always open to my neighboring things. Fantastic. So that's another quest finished. Uh, Kill the Rats is one of the only ones left now that we have open, which is actually pretty cool. Ah. All right, then. Uh, right. Well, before we do that, though, let us have a look. We have got many points to spend, oh, glorious times. I've got to raise that a little bit further, though. It's a bit of a shame. Stun, I could get... Hmm. I mean, having more people who can stun would be glorious. The wielding cripple is good. Charge, I don't need. Faint, don't need. Rebuke is a decent one, but uh, I'm not sure I want any of those strictly. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe getting witchcraft, honestly. I mean, I have the sense to use it. In fact, my sense is only one less than Roskva. I need a lot more to increase that one, though. I could even possibly get Taunt. Hmm. Having more people who can Taunt would be fantastic. On that note, I really do think that maybe you'd be the better one to grab that. Because there are plenty of times when I don't have anyone I want to use specifically for that. Hmm. Leadership, governed by sense, grants a bonus to both resistance and unlocks special conversation options. I think it's actually time for me to put a little bit more into that, honestly. So yeah, we're going to grab that one. Uh, is there anything else here? The skill requires another nationality. That's fine. Galder. I could get Galder rank 2, Baldur's favor, attack action. Oh, well, I can't afford it right now. All Norse allies get the same effect centered, which would be nice. We can't afford much more there. Now, passive skills, I wouldn't mind. Let's see what we've got. Steady hands, interrupt chance has a 100% chance of hitting. For now, I don't know if that's actually going to work out the way I want it to. 
So we're going to hold off on that one. Keen Eye. Plus 50% arm piercing for all attacks. If that also includes range attacks, and I can't imagine that it wouldn't, that would be useful. Uh, evade, Backstabber, Avenger, Adrenaline Junkie, Lone Wolf. No, I, I tend to like you to be uh, with your allies there. Nimble, Opportunist. This is nice, but not really what we're going to be going for. Um... 3% points? No. I think we're going to go for... Sure, Keen Eye. Let's get Keen Eye there. Alright, Roskver, you've got a few points here as well. Now... Increases the flanking damage. I could go for back subgrounds. Plus 20% damage versus harried enemies. No, I, I don't think we're going to go for that one just yet. Cooking, maybe. A few points in that wouldn't go amiss. Preserving, perhaps. Um, that requires many more points than I've got to spend. Uh, as a chance to give the party a bonus? Uh, no. You already got cooking up at, at full. We don't need to worry about that one. Honestly, I'm thinking of, of having the characters that I recruit have those sorts of things. Rather than using my main, like, attackers for that that sort of thing. I, I, th I think that might be a better way to, to spend my points. Uh, in terms of your knife, no, we're not going to be increasing that any further. I really wouldn't mind if I could get some other abilities, though. Now, this on you would be fantastic. If you could cripple someone with a sling, that would be actually quite potent. Quite, quite potent. Uh, we could spend a lot of points there. Increase your axe a decent chunk. Uh, that is definitely something we want Gunnar to get. Yes, axe damage all the way up, please. Let's get that. Uh, likewise, I want pretty much anyone who's got a weapon skill to spend these points. Shield block. Increased by 18. Wow. Defending. Shield is impervious to damage. I like it. Yes, let's go for that. Uh, your spear is not going to be something that you can upgrade just yet. Stun, you don't have the skill for it, unfortunately. That does make me sad. Makes a range attack that deals... No, that, that can sit there. Uh, let's see. We've got zero points. Well, let's have a have a look then. I mean, I could get you some more healing abilities, which isn't a bad move, really. Yeah, okay. We're going to increase your healing a bit. As for you... I can actually give you quite a few things. Which is nice. Raise the damage reduction of any adjacent friendly target to match the user's damage reduction. That would be great on you in the future. That would actually be very nice, since you're going to want to be stood around allies anyway. That makes a lot of sense. Interrupt chance? No. Let's get opportunists, I think. I think that one is a really, really nice one for you specifically. Dodge? No, we're fine with that. Relentless grants 5% chance to get one extra action when using normal attacks. No, we don't need that one just yet. The skin wouldn't be too bad, though. Night Owl, low profile. Hmm. Got a couple of decent ones around here. Bloodthirsty goes plus 10% damage for one turn after every kill. You do f get kills reasonably often, so... Yeah, alright, we're going to grab that one. Uh, as for your support skills, I suppose I could give you a little bit more. Perhaps a slight bit better scouting. You can't actually get that, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, how about guarding, then? You don't have enough. Oh, well, then, that, that's fine. Finally, Kettle, you're not going to be able to raise your bow any further. And that is deeply, deeply saddening, but it is what it is. I can, however... Oh, no, I can't rise that. That's actually a bit of a shame as well. Dread. I was really, really hoping for that one. Uh, opportunist won't help here. That one is glorious, though. 
Uh, you've already got walk your shots. Um, you've pretty much got everything we need. Everything we need you to have. Halves the damage penalty for aimed shots. Sure, okay, we'll grab that one. And we can't quite afford a point blank anymore. Uh, let's see. Maybe just make you a good patient, possibly? I'm, I'm not really sure there's much of any great use there for you. And everything around here seems to need a little bit more. So I guess you can just sit on those points for now. All right, that is a pretty awesome ride. Okay, so we've got one one quest to do here. Uh, let's go and find this rat quest. All right then. So investigate Jardar's house. It's up this way. All uh, right. Sorry about that. Let's slip through and find out what we've got going on then. We have got. This is the house. Right. Okay, ask her a jumper. Jardar's directions take you to a set of small homes not far from the market. The walks are the walls are dirty, the doorways skewed, and one of the roofs has several large cracks. A group of young men and women dressed in rags are loitering about the courtyard. The oldest of them, a boy of perhaps fifteen or sixteen, gets up and saunters over to where you enter. Hey, you lost old man? We're not interested in company. Uh, right. Mm. <laughs> uh, sorry, my young man. Let me just rest my arthritic 25-year-old legs at that moment before I leave. Uh, will this just let me leave? Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to be sassy. The kid lets out an amused snort despite himself. He looks almost impressed for a moment before he regains his composure. Jada sent you, right? If you're here to throw us out... It's not going to work. Smarter people than you have tried. Ah, I... Oh, you're the rat! <laughs> okay, I was a little bit behind the ball. Fair enough. Aye, you're a sharp one, all right. He wipes his nose in an already crusty sleeve. Ah. Oh. You can try and catch us if you fancy chase, but lots of people have tried. And we're still about, yeah? Uh, let's see. You're not going to try and fight me? Well, why would they? That would be silly. Uh, how can I convince you to leave peacefully? Unless you find us another place to live, we're staying right here. You can run us out like the last people that Hog Belly sent. We'll just be back when you're gone. This is our place. You can tell Jumper, uh, tell him Jumper said so. Oh, that would be hard. My finesse is none too high. I'm not really sure I would want to, anyway. Uh... Who are you, kids? What are you, slow-witted? We're the rats. You said so yourself. Amy's voice is filled with motherly concern. Where are your families? Jump a spit on the ground. We're all the family we need. Mm. I'm not just going to murder a bunch of children. I'll give this some thought. Now oh, that's interesting. Find a way to remove the rats from Yardo's property. Uh, okay. I wonder what we can do. Are there any any people we can talk to? I wonder around here. Let's see. Actually, let's turn on my markers. Uh, these houses around here? No. Let's move down. There's a house. Uh, I don't, actually, I don't think, even think I went in there. Not seeing anything. We've got some idle things around. What we need is someone else that we can talk to that we haven't talked to already. Maybe I could even talk to the Yarl. That might be a uh, good idea, though. That being said, I really do need to secure myself some some more herdmen. But first, we're going to pop into this house. Oh, maybe they could live here. Uh, we'll look around. I'm in here by myself. The hearth is cold as ice, and a thick blanket of mold covers the disgusting remains of the stew. Oh, that's not particularly nice. Every candle scattered across the room is. Ineptly inscribed with jagged patterns. 
and unsettling symbols. Ooh, okay, this looks like something completely different. Bits of burnt flesh still stick to the effigy. It's impossible to tell what sort of creature it came from. Oh, wow, this is not what I was expecting then. Empty. Hu human feces have long dried around the pot, yet an overpowering stench of urine still lingers to sting your nostrils. The surface is marred by charred spots and strange carvings with dread you recognize the name of the fire giant Surtur repeated over and over and over. Uh, yeah, let's not send the kids here, actually. On second thought, I don't think this is the place for them. Okay, that, that was not what I was expecting. We need another place to send the children. Uh, I mean, I guess we could just knock them out. That's an option, I suppose. But then, that doesn't solve anything for anyone, really. Uh, let's, well, at the very least, let's go and get some, some new crew. Skullgrimmer, let's have a chat. Skullgrimmer stops the training when he sees you. Now here's someone who knows a thing or two about courage. Let's the monster slay himself. I heard you took care of the trouble in the marsh. The whole city heard by now. Warriors have been flocking to the docks looking for work now that the traders don't need the extra security anymore. If you're still looking to hire, you won't have any trouble. Uh, oh, okay. Let me tell you what I need. Okay. Oh, I can actually leave people here? No, that's not going to be happening. Select existing. Select existing. Uh, who should join? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, I can leave them here and then bring them back. Right. Okay, I can create new people. That seems awesome, actually. My lord. Hmm. Well, well, well. I wasn't actually expecting that. Okay, you know what? We're going to put that on hold for now. We're going to put that on hold. And I'm going to accept requests in the comments. Uh, do let me know if you're interested in picking one of the three people that we're going to be taking. As I mentioned, I was thinking of, of having the mercenaries be more built to use support skills. Um, so like artisans and stuff like that. But, yeah, okay, that's very interesting. I wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, well, what I'm going to do is let's go to the market. Let's talk with Jardar. See if he's got anything more to say about this problem. And then we'll go talk to the Yarl. Do you deal with the rats? I haven't decided what to do about them yet. Whatever you decide to do, please make sure they'll never come back. Uh, yeah, all right, all right. Um, anyone else I can talk to about it? Um, perhaps some other time. Nipple. Uh, no, perhaps some other time. I need someone who can deal with the rats. Uh, across the din of the market, do you have anything to do? God and Dag, honourable then. Rebay is the beating heart of the West Coast. Remember to enjoy yourselves while you're here. Ragnar. Uh, Gracious then, are you looking to restock your supplies? No, not at the moment. What I am looking for is someone who will employ the children, frankly. Uh, let's see if... Fleary. Nope. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go and have a talk with the Yarl. See if there's anything that we can do with that. But I'm going to wrap the episode up a little bit earlier than I was expecting. Simply to offer people an opportunity to, to request a name. Again, we need three characters. Uh, you can let me know roughly what preference you have. Like, for example, we're going to want an artisan, someone who can craft me um, items or repair items, someone who can basically make weapons and armor. Um, we'll probably have a couple who can do um, camp duties as well. I saw those people attack you for no reason. What a horrible thing to do. I'm very pleased to see you made it out alive. Um... No, it doesn't seem like you've actually got much to do there. All right, well, let's go and talk with y'all, and that'll be the last thing we do 
in this episode. Now, this is actually taking a, an interesting turn. Very interesting turn. Okay, y'all. Do you have any suggestions? A comment to Rebay Avak. What do we owe your pleasure? Are you aware there's a group of orphans squatting in some rotten buildings near the market? You mean the rats? Uh, so you know about them. Why in the old father's name have you not addressed this yet? I'll say they seem to, that seems to be what people call them, yes. The rats are the children of men and women who died in the battle of Bravlir fighting against Sigurd uh, Ringer. We tried to take care of them all, but the campaign left too many orphans to manage. They seem to be getting by. Are there any other vacant buildings we could move them into? So you simply chose to ignore them? Do we have your leave to evict the rats by force? Uh, are there any other buildings? I appreciate the sentiment, but the rats have been making nuisances of themselves for years now, stealing from merchants and rampaging through the streets in dark hours. I don't want to have my men move against them. I suppose I feel some kind of responsibility for them still. But placing them elsewhere in the city will not be possible. Hmm. I'll try to find a peaceful solution. If you manage it, that will be worthy of respect. Okay, well, it looks like it's not going to be as straightforward as I'd hoped. Nevertheless, I'm pretty happy with the progress we made in this episode. We have completed a handful of quests, and in the next episode, we're going to be heading back to... Re uh, sorry, to... Um, to... Uh, Skien! There are too many ha towns with, with the similar sounding names in the various games that I'm playing right now. And I was really, really struggling there. I was grasping for it. But to Skjern, how could I forget the name of my own town? What kind of fan am I? Nevertheless, that'll be where we're heading in the next episode to to hopefully um, ensure the nephew's sister does not get any worse. I don't think we can we can waste time on that one. I wouldn't be surprised if the game would punish us if we dilly dallied too much by letting her die. That would be a horrible way to start our voyage but that's going to be it from me so thank you very much for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next but until then do take care